Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Scarlett Rose. Hey, for those that are new to my channel, welcome. Hey, for those that have been tuning in from the very, very beginning, I appreciate you all so much for helping me grow. I just appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Hey, Wakanda for life, y'all. Wakanda for life. Welcome to the land of Wakanda. Rest in peace, Chadwick. Hey, we have a delicious, delicious, inspired by Miss Robbie from Sweetie Pies, her banana pudding recipe. I'm gonna be making this banana pudding recipe, y'all, and sharing it with you all. You know, the holidays are coming up, or if you have a potluck or just a family gathering, or you just simply want to make some dessert around the house for your family, this is a delicious must-have recipe in your home. Let me tell you what my family, when this recipe is made, this dessert, uh, it's like uh, if you don't get any and you missed out, too bad. Look, when that dessert is ready and to eat and ready to go, it does not last long in my house at all. So let's get into this quick, delicious, easy banana pudding recipe, y'all. Y'all are going to love it, trust me. So what we're gonna be using today is we're gonna be using some mini vanilla wafers. We're gonna be using some banana cream jello pudding. We're gonna be using some Chiquita bananas we're going to use about maybe all of these about four or five of these and we're going to be using some cool whip and we're going to be using some two percent milk again you can use any brand of bananas or you can use whatever brand of milk that you prefer so let's go ahead and get into this easy quick recipe so what we're going to be using is this glass bowl and we're gonna be using my rubber uh, spatula and we're gonna be using my whisk. We're gonna be using uh, my measuring cup and we're gonna be using a cutting board. So what we're gonna to wanna to do now, let's go ahead and get the pudding made up first. So this recipe calls for uh, five cups of milk because this is not the average size uh, jello pudding box. So we're going to use five cups. So this one is four cups and then we're going to make, then we're going to pour another cup. So that'll make five. So let's get this whisked up. Wakanda for life. Wakanda forever. Great, great movie, y'all. Great, great movie. I also love Chadwick when he played James Brown, honey. Let me tell you, he played that. He was excellent in that movie, but he was a great actor. Great actor. All right, so let's go ahead and pour our milk. So we want to go to like four cups. All right, that's about four cups there. Pour all of that in there. We're gonna pour that to about a cup. 
and this will make five. So that'll be five cups of milk. Let's put this back in the refrigerator. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and whisk this, whisk it until it thickens up. I hope you all are enjoying your wonderful fall season. Like I said, it is so beautiful here in Ohio with the trees changing colors, the leaves. Our temperature has been going up and down. We're cool at night. But I tell you, Ohio, you can have winter, spring, summer, fall in one month, y'all. Because the weather really do changes that much. Um, but we're, we're hoping that we don't have a really bad winter. But uh, we just enjoying the sunshine while we can. And, and this nice weather we're having so far starting off the fall season. Again, we're whisking this banana cream jello pudding and for this recipe we used five cups of milk because we did not use the regular size uh, pudding boxes this is like 5.1 ounce and we used two boxes of these so i want you guys to see the consistency of this pudding as you all can see it is thickening up. And like I said, this is perfect for potlucks, for parties, family get-togethers. Look, family reunions. Who don't love no banana pudding? I know I love some banana pudding, honey. And y'all, this is going to be a hit. Miss Rocky's recipe is a hit. We have the chance of visiting her um, her Upper Crust Sweetie Pies restaurant in St. Louis um, when we were moving out here to Ohio from Vegas in 2013. We had to do a pit stop through there, but then we have family in St. Louis, but we did a pit stop especially so that we could try Upper Crust Sweetie Pies restaurant. And her food was good, y'all. Just delicious. And so this pudding is thickened up, y'all. And that's how you want to see that pudding. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to peel these bananas. We're going to peel these bananas really quickly. Really quickly, really quickly. Love, love banana pudding. And after we make this up, we're gonna let this refrigerate, you know, for about an hour or two. Um, letting it chill until you're ready to serve it, honey. But let me tell you, this recipe is not gonna last. So you make sure when you make you some, put you some to the side, honey, cause they gonna eat it up. Everybody in the house gonna eat this up or your, your, your coworkers. Or, they gonna tear this up, honey. They gonna be like, when you gonna make this again? So let's go ahead and cut up these bananas. And as you see, I'm trying to slice all of these at the same time. Just a quick, easy way to get these bananas cut up. So we have these cut up. I feel like we need a little bit more. But I think I'm going to make me a banana daiquiri um, out of the other bananas that I have left. If y'all haven't checked out my banana, uh, frozen banana daiquiri, y'all missing out, honey. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to mix the pudding and the bananas with your rubber spatula. All right. 
right. Now we're gonna take some of these cookies. These mini wafers. Maybe about half a box because we want to garnish um, the top with the rest of them. So let's go ahead and fold those in there. And again, like I said, this is a quick, easy recipe. Okay, so we did that. We flipped this around with your. Now we're going to take some Cool Whip. We're going to take some cool, some cool Whip. And we're gonna start folding it inside, mixing it in with the pudding, with the banana pudding and the wafers. Doesn't that look delicious? We're going to go ahead and garnish the top of this. Let's do that in circular motion. And now we're going to take some of these cookies. Want to clean this up around the sides and again you want to refrigerate this for about an hour or two and then it's ready to serve and again this will be a perfect hit perfect perfect delicious recipe to bring to your potluck to your family gathering or just simply make it here at home or if you're having some guests um, again, this recipe does not last in my house. And there you go, you guys. This is the delicious, delicious banana pudding. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button if you haven't already hit that like and that subscribe. And 
and um, be sure to tell me how your recipe turns out for you. I got. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a blessed weekend. Thank you. Come back and visit me. Tell your friends about me. Bye. Enjoy.